So here are your steps. You're going to plot the values, determine whether they're linear, quadratic, or exponential. You're going to fo follow the steps in the calculator, find the equation. But just looking at it, what can you see? This one's linear. What's this one look like? Quadratic. And what does the last one look like? Exponential. So you can kind of tell by the scatter plots what they are. So if you get a linear equation, you're going to use the linear regression. And we've done that before, so that's nothing new. If you get a quadratic, you're going to use a quadratic regression. And if you get an exponential, you'll use an exponential regression. All right, so we're going to do a line of best fit. Um, though you don't think, I don't think you need my help, but I'll just remind you just in case. Okay, so it says input the table or sets a point in the table in Desmos. Make sure the table is labeled again x1, y1. We talked about that. And fill in the box to as to if it is linear, quadratic, or exponential based on how it looks. Then follow the steps below like we did in a previous video. All right, so here's our question. So it says, about a year ago, Joey watched an online video of a band and noticed that it had been viewed only 843 times. One month later, Joey noticed that the band's video had been viewed 1,708 views. Um, Joey made the table below to keep track of the cumulative number of views the video was getting online. So months since first viewing, so zero months, this is what it was. The first After the first month, it was this. The second month, he forgot to record. The third month was this. The fourth was this. The fifth was this. The sixth was this. Okay, so again, the steps are you input the table, look at what it is, then follow these steps based on what it is to get the equation. So let's go ahead and input the table first. All right, so just input a table and in desmos how do i input a table i click the plus sign then i click table and we're just going to put the table in so it says zero All right, once you've inputted your table, you're just gonna double check to make sure that it is correct. So just make sure the numbers line up. Once you've double checked it and you're sure that it's not correct, you can move on. So I need to know, so the first step is, what is a linear, quadratic, or exponential? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at it. I don't see what this is. And clicking home, I still don't see what this is. So again, that button is right here. Or I can, you know, kind of zoom out and zoom in as please, but it'll take me a while to find the graph. Oh, there is a graph. Now it looks like a straight line. So again. What you want to do is hit this plus button right here that says zoom fit. It, it can fit it in, and immediately you can see what is it. What does it look like? All right, now that you know that's what it looks like, step two says um, go ahead and put it in. So if it's linear, put in this equation, quadratic, this equation, um, exponential, that equation. Okay, so I'm not going to actually do this question for you because it's really what you're doing is practicing. So you're going to put it in so that you can get the regression. So it says write the e regression equation. So once you find out what your values are after putting it in, um, round all values to the nearest hundredths. So that means two numbers after the decimal. Um, kind of graph it here. So again, you'd graph it looking like this, just like it does right in Desmos, and then answer the question. So um, why did you choose? It says just by choice of regression. Why did you choose whatever equation you choose? Okay, and then round your values to the nearest hundredths. So you're going to put that right here. Then you're going to come here shown in the table joey forgot to record the number of views after the second month so right here you see that he forgot use the equation so whatever equation you have written here from part a to estimate the number of full views online that joey forgot to record so what you're going to do is type in that equation right here so whatever that equation was right so you'd have it right there somewhere let's say and i'm not saying this is the answer i'm just saying let's say my equation was this this was my equation and it doesn't matter what the equation was okay this is the equation but it's not okay because i want you to do this question it says i want to estimate what it was at two so when x is equal to two what is what y so what would i do here when i when i see x i would put what two and so my y value would be eight this is not the answer again <laughs> i bet you some of you are still going to put this as the answer this is not the answer all right so that's one way of doing it alternatively right so whatever your equation is you can make it a table and how do i make it a table i click settings then i click table and in the table i can input whatever value i need so if i was looking for more than one value so i can look for two for example so i'm going to put in two i see how i get the same eight but then let's say i also wanted to know what 10 was i can just put in 10 and i get my values out okay so that's how you answer that so just continue read and uh reading and 
completing it via the steps that are on this page right here. Let's practice.